big time zone. Yeah, I started recording because uh, just in case you would like to share it. So I'm talking about this bigger Gregory machine that I see souls are connected, souls in the body connected, other souls who love the body is connected. What it's related to the two big movements as I see. One movement is um, plastic surgery, how people want perfect bodies, perfect faces, kind of looking like Barbie type, right? The same <laughs> lips, the same noses. And then another one is how they are losing empathy emotions because they're told to always stay positive and high vibration not to pay attention to evil in the world because the, by taking attention your attention away you create that what you see no it's not the point the point is when you see something you don't like or you reject you say i refuse this i refuse this and i refuse this for this people and for myself and therefore, you're not going to get have this experience because experiences you notice in life always comes unexpectedly, doesn't it? People always say it happened to me, but I always thought it would happen to others, not never to me. Don't they say that? Mm -hmm. so that's how I, I start figuring this out. And that's what all my videos started, started getting deleted. And <laughs> and so you, you're you talking about Fibonacci yeah. spirals. Fibonacci. Every spiral has a number nine to me, doesn't it? Right. Okay. Well, this Fibonacci is the one that's going to be breaking off because there's two. Uh, the crystal, the crystal timeline that's going to the, the ascension path. Mm -hmm. And the Fibonacci and um, allegedly this is what's going to happen in November they're going to cross I mean it's like there's a graph it's you know there's proof you can search it mm -hmm. and it's like literally they're going to cross because we're so close now we're literally because we're we're literally seeing two timelines playing out now right we're seeing right. The destruction you know all of the rubbish that they're going on about with the um, smart cities and all of that stuff. And we're kind of like, they're trying to get stuck us. They're trying to get the crystal timeline. Basically, they want to live off us. They want us because we're the energy force. So without mm -hmm. them, they're going to be finished. So there's a battle. And, um, and it, does, it does matter where you put your focus. So if you put your focus too much on the negative things, I'm not saying don't be aware because I have been bombarded in from 2020. I saw everything. I mean, my higher self or they were bringing in mm -hmm. all these information like bombarding me. So I had it for a few years. So I know all that. So I've moved. You kind of move on to the next step. It, you don't forget it. And it is all about the, ch the children. It, it is all about the fact that they're that we're fighting for our mind and our soul because they want they want it. Mm -hmm. So basically, November we're going to cross, and it's going to break off. And they um, but they're desperate to suck it back in. So this is why we keep on going back to the the negative timeline. And then you'll feel wow, I feel like really you know I feel really good. You know everything's beautiful at the moment. And then all of a sudden you'll feel that things are going wrong. You'll see like loads of traffic lights everywhere. Like I do, you know, they'll put traffic, <laughs> temporary traffic yeah. lights. And that stresses me out. And then I start getting upset. And then I know they're sucking my energy. This mm -hmm. is but then when I go onto the crystal timeline, everything disappears. And suddenly all of the traffic lights are gone. So you can literally go from it's crazy stuff. Um, so um, unbalanced they're trying to create chaos yes yes they are trying to take us away they're trying to suck our energy our energy force they take it they want our minds our souls they want to keep us trapped but we're here to retrieve our fragments back and that's mm -hmm. why people are dying this is what i think because people are our fragments they're parts of us that we so we're retrieving our negative, you know, the bad parts as well. And we're, we're putting them, we're bringing them back and we're healing them and we're neutralizing them. And then we're bringing it back to one, you know, so 
that's what we're doing, bringing back. It's not all about love and light and rainbows and unicorns. I can't stand all of that. Ooh, no. No, this is a false egregory machine that sucks in souls who just, uh, it's like an illusion. They want to keep you in illusion and not mm. moving in the direction where your soul is pointing to you. It's a distraction. If you are constantly on the phone all your life, distracted, what can you accomplish? The same idea. Just keep listening to the videos about uh, unicorns and rainbows and like you said, you know, and you'll be stuck in one point the whole time and then you'll go to the Gregory because I see cyber worlds I don't even I can't even call them virtual because I see cybernetics like machines inside the world you don't see them because inside there's like a bubble of creation and each soul depending on the mainstream ideas or theories provided by certain channels, which to me are like streams of information on YouTube, you'll go to this particular Gregory or that. Therefore, I detach myself from all of them because the thing is, it's just amazing how people really cannot control themselves because a lot of people that do channels I know them in real life because I'm friends with them and then sometimes I see how they behave or what what they say low vibrational words they say and it shocks me you know because if it's deep inside you you cannot say these words and that's why I was always ridiculed since I was little in school. Loxana is, you know, she's a princess. She never says a bad word. But it wasn't part of me. And it's never going to be part of me. But some people are born that way. Others realize. and But it's really unbelievable how this aspect of draconian DNA, reptilian present... And, you know, in each and every person, it just depends on if you give, if you turn it off or it keeps going. Because I've been shocked recently by people, you know, comments, what they say, how they explode at every word, how they start criticizing so easily. And you're just saying your opinion. You're not saying that you're wrong. That's what I think. No, no. Just, you know, voicing what you think. I have only two people, literally, I three, maybe three, I deal with who are totally, I feel in sync with them. You know, like the courts, when you enter any court room, the symbology, you know, the Libra, they're not even. They're like this, right? I was just thinking, like, why are they like that? Well, because they want us unbalanced. Mm -hmm. so. They're not, oh, they don't, I don't know, they don't go inside. It's like you have to go within. Like, mm -hmm. I feel things within and I can't, they don't always have explanations. I don't sort of say, oh, yeah, I know what it is, blah, 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 blah. It's not about that. It's, it's this feeling and I can't even explain it. Right. And it's like I I go with that. And the more I go with that, the more I trust myself, the more I realize that what, what I feel is actually I'm not wrong. And I've always been like that as well. It's but it's the distractions that have taken me away from myself because of mm -hmm. my life, because I've been since a child. I mean, I did uh um remote viewing when I was a baby. I did a rem I remember being in my cot, always being because I came in. I remember coming in into the world and seeing the planet, and I was with somebody, and it was love. I just felt love, mm -hmm. and I was so happy. And I was told, "This is your family. This is their house. This is this. This is what you've got to do." So I came in with a mission, and I always thought that was a dream, but it's not. It was real. And so I came in with empathy to mm. help. I did that for my sister. And so I was always really worried about her. So in my cot, I used to sit there and think. I was at, what, three, two? And I remember thinking and taking this wallpaper off and just taking it off slowly. 
And I was so worried about my sister that I actually uh, did a remote view. I came out of my body and I went into her room. And when I went in, I was, I was a big, I wasn't a baby. I wasn't crawling. I was from the door looking mm-hmm. in and everything was taken out of my sister's room. And there was astronauts sitting around the floor and they saw me. They knew they were doing something. And then since after that, that's when I got pounded. I was control. I was put down, down, down to stop me because mm-hmm. I was doing, you know, they knew who I was and what I was doing because I knew what was going on from a baby. Right. I, I'm, I'm not different from that consciousness. I'm the same consciousness. It wasn't, you know. Right. And empathy, when you are born with emotions and empathy and the feeling to help others, you know, the desire to do so, I mean, it means you're connected to your soul. That's a connection. That's what it is. That's what makes you human. Totally heart-soul connection. Otherwise, you become non-human. That's what they want people to do. You know? They came through my sister. They came through my family. All the demonic and it was from when I was a, a, a young child it was coming through the whole time and I was I thought I was something wrong with me I used to say mm. why you know but now I'm this age I'm 54 now from that age to now it's a long time <laughs> it's a long time so now I've it, it's I don't know I've just realized what has been going on in my life Mm-hmm. and I tried to save my sister but mm-hmm. they didn't allow me to do that and my sister is got I mean I don't from the last session we had when I tore up my book of life my false life book of mm-hmm. life right life, life, everything from I would say it started to happen in 2019 the end of 2019 people have gone I, I don't have no one is there anymore all my people from my life mm. they have all gone my passed away last year my sister has it's like the book has been it's gone right. everyone's gone so what I did in that session when I put the, my that lies into the portal and the burning in that it's literally mm-hmm. come down into my physical and it's uh it's happening in my life it's Right. Uh, no That's way. after your yeah. session with me. When did we do it? It was, it was in year twenty-one. It was twenty-one. 2020. Uh, yeah, time flies so quickly. So two years ago. But I'm happy that they've all gone because they mm-hmm. would bring me down. They it's cleansing like of your I environment, know. and you feel lighter, right? I didn't tell them to go. I didn't argue. The things that they did, I mean, my sister turned into the devil himself. Mm. For the last five years, she like a handler. evil. It was, it was so bad. But it was so creepy because everyone else couldn't see. They were blocked from seeing it. So she was getting away mm-hmm. from it. Evil. But what the last thing that happened to me was, in 20, at the end of 2020 was the last time she attacked me and I saw pure evil coming out of her to attack me but I was removed it's like I was in this shield and I could see this round energy thing it was like little squiggles of energy and I don't know what that was it was like I was I went through a, a gate or a portal or something and since that day she left I never saw her. I saw her twice in the mm. last three, two years. And now I don't see her at all. It's like I've been removed. It, something happened. I don't know what It's happened. the vibrationally something changed, you know, inside of you. Because that's what's angry. going on with people. I'm angry because I'm leaving. I'm mm. leaving. I have let, I'm, I am. I wanted you to have a look and see where I'm at, but I know I'm lead, I bless a lot of me, and I'm and also my um, my um, uh, clone that you said I had one clone. I had a dream after your session, 
I had a dream. I fell asleep that I was in my clone. I was my clone in a dungeon in like this thing underground. There were doctors and nurses everywhere trying to take things, inject me in that. And I left my body. I died. I basically left my body and I came out the top of my head. Mm-hmm. And I they screamed because they knew I was gone. And when I left my body, that my son picked it up because he, um, he's connected. He started screaming, mommy, mom, mom, what? I'm scared, I'm scared. Because he, so when I woke up, I was like, oh, like, because I had to get my breath. Because I, I actually retrieved my soul essence from that clone. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I had a lot of retrieval. I want you to see me now because this is real, real stuff now. I'm so, you know, uh, I'm lead, I'm also leading, leading helping people uh I am a leader as well um um and I'm leading people to themselves as well because it's something that is very natural to me Mm -hmm. um because I've retrieved my fragment that they took I don't know if please have a look and see if there's anything else out yeah and I just want you to know uh, tell me where I am I feel like I'm, I'm, I am not on the, I'm not on the negative timeline, even though we go in and out. I have been through so much hell and I have anchored myself now into, this is how I feel. I have anchored myself into the positive timeline because I'm on, I have to carry out my mission. Um, and I need to know that I'm completely cleansed. My quantum field is cleansed. Um, and then after that, if you could just tell me how my son is, and obviously my mum, because the last uh, the last session we had, I I freed her from a box because they had the Anunnaki had her in a box, like in a star, and I helped her. And if you can just quickly look at my sister, I'm saying at the end, and Andy, my son's dad, if you can have a quick look what's going on there, because I think he's hijacked and he's trying to do stuff but I'm okay but yeah I'm gonna leave it to you now yeah I see right away so there's like a window to the right of you left of me your energy sphere it's like your energy sphere has on the left it's it's bright light it's clean but then there's a like a glass in the middle but it's some sort of uh like a membrane and there's a tunnel in between the membrane like a circle without the door that you can walk through in and out and i right away saw some being uh it's not a gray no it's some gray skinned frog looking being with long long fingers four of them and he keeps taking some glass tubes like lab tubes it's like a window in your energy sphere on that side that you separated with a membrane Wait, it's like they created a big egg out of your energy sphere. And then once I hear embryos a lot here, my head. So they create some sort of embryos. They're pulling energy through. It's like an electric energy. So just I mentioned about that before coming from I want to say pores of your hair like DNA it's like I see in the etheric your hair is like little tubes and out of these tubes with a little needle they can take DNA like that they put it in a glass tube and they take it away but they have like a spaceship. It's a big round. It's 
two la la levels and the doors kind of open like a little bridge that leads to your energy sphere and they actually monitor a few people like you eight comes like eight 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 people like you when did they get in seven eight months ago seven seven months ago situation situation was the relatives definitely because i get this two words situation relatives and i see four people I see four they're kind of standing in a square like a cube they cubists they incubated they controlled by the cube by the saturn I see this black cube standing on the side. They're like, like controlled by the uh, comes to me time money monetary system. Something like this. And it's like they are you know they're like fake people in your life. They're not real people. You mean um, NPCs? The four people in your family seven months ago, it was some situation caused, was the help of them, ordered by the, let's call it matrix system, prison of mind system. Because the system is created out of mind. What mind thinks is created. What mind is dictated to is created. A mind can also detach itself from the reality. While reality would still affect the physical though. But... He can save the um, emotional, mental bodies somehow. But then, I but, but then they get shocked. It's like an electric shock. You know, basically, I see like a lot of people. I see those four people. And from their minds, there were like an electric wave, blue wave. And it goes into you. And somehow in the mix, these frogs appeared. They look like a stretched out, very tall frogs. Venus and Saturn, they're together like this. It's a projection of Saturn, number 12, these frogs came from. And they're just trying to deplete you of energy, ideas, ideas through taking your DNA. And they're trying to, the failing is a project that is not coming through because you have some mechanism of self-protection that would not let anybody use your DNA. But there's there's also a connection down like under your stomach line, like like a hip line in front. I see it's connected to their spaceship. They're taking the only ability they could do is thirteen to twenty one percent of your energy they could take. They're taking it. Because they're hoping the transformation period is going to be over. And if you don't separate, you're right about that spiral thing. Because that's exactly what they're waiting. They're waiting for the end of spiral. For, this, for the moment of split. And they'll mm -hmm. see 
if they can take you over or not because you figured out a lot of things and that's why matrix used your relatives to attack you yes. to connect you to thing and that's why you build this membrane inside your energy sphere to be you kind of like standing on this one side most of the time and you created some sort of like a window with flowers and meadows to look at uh, and to think about some things you want that inspires you because where you are you know it very well when you look at yourself in the mirror when you stay at your house where you like everything around and you feel safe and everything looks beautiful because you created that space you have positive thoughts your vibration is stable nothing disturbing you and you are able to create mentally but then they're trying to use those people to pull you into another side of your bubble of, of energy, your uh, energy sphere, to, so you don't feel as comfortable. You feel the opposite of what you felt just now, being on your self-created beautiful side that inspires you to have beautiful thoughts and ideas so let's go to those people I see the woman with her hair down to her shoulders and it's like it's weird sounds like my heart is hurting here because the, this woman has a metallic heart structure made out of round metal like flat discs it's wild and then the other three people I see one is short like a boy but he's shorter he's not a, it's not a man it's going to be a man. It's about to. But then the other two people are cloaked. I don't want to get close to them, but I can read through distance that those are women. I feel they're women in your family also like <laughs> they know that the split is near and so those who don't correlate with your vibration um, with your vibration of thought it's all about the um, it's not about the focus like we talked about on what you see like flowers and meadows that's good too it inspires your creation but then on the other hand you feels like you're acquiring knowledge out of yourself like extracting it and this leads you to a higher consciousness level higher vibrational frequency because different dimensions have different consciousness levels and they have a hard time dealing with you that way, but they did activate the agents. And the information is just came that they, it always comes that they activate all the agents in each family to attack the certain person in that family that happens to be mm, not as blocked, still able to connect to its. Um, subconscious soul channels without knowing he or she does channel because some thoughts and information comes through that through music water relaxation 
comes knowledge just pops in your head yeah you're you 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 created some red stick like a ruby stick you look at me you say it's a ruby stick and you do this over and over like drawing a circle in the middle and i see like the membrane is disappearing <gasps> this energy coming out and that other side of the bubble of energy of your energy sphere you're just pushing with a stick it's like sticks produces some flow of energy like and shoots it away like a sprinkler of water sprinkles it out pushes it out and here i see it's filling up with that like light just 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 uh, white it's your it's your essence it's glittering in the sun and the rainbow colors but it basically looks like crystalline energy to me and uh, you um mm, you're showing me that you're this bird and this flower on the other planet the flower is leading to other sub planets of that planet flower is a portal so you have the abilities of more professionally let's say creating portals for different purposes from that parallel life and you also have the ability to fly like the bird you are it's like yeah it's <clears throat> like a duck with gray light gray short fluffy like when i touch it so fluffy and it has like little stripes like this not straight but in waves in the orangey kind of grayish tail and your your head is so round and cute and you got the beak the yellow beak it's a different nurse it's behind the arctic wall because that bird when i look at her i in her head i see the projection of other planets you can visit and go sometimes because you monitor the uh life of say like life of ducks but it's not it's it's birds it birds here who have like little children and they look over them it's like a motherly instinct in you from that uh, duck life or it's different it's a uh, we don't have the birds like this with a perfectly round head like a ball um, so you looks like you cleansed everything and you just like this and then when you open your hands like this it's like you became all this bluish light white sparkling energy because it burned up all the frequencies that didn't belong to you because it's like they were fakely put into you through that connection to that lab to those frogs frogs are a mixture of grays and he's shabby anu 
Hishabeanoraki. Oh, yeah. there's something very ancient, very, very old. They used to be on this planet in water. And I don't see them being negative. I see them using like the big pipes and the big tall vases for cleansing the water. They're like keepers of the water they used to be. But then I see the spaceships come and I see a lot of cigars shaped spaceships come and it's like they started shrinking uh, the water and some of the uh, underwater cities showed up above the water and you're aware of that and right now the history repeats itself because we came to the seventh spiral of the ninth grid system to repeat the cycle except it's going to be the opposite when the patches of land go underwater because they used to believe uh, be there and the water is going to engulf as many souls as it can so it's almost like my strong feeling that there's going to be a lot of ships expeditions cruises disappearing or people disappearing off of them something like this because water is taken over, returning back to its original self. When the water is going to dominate the land, the Arctic wall is going to fall. When it falls, you get bounced back to your own self. Most people will get bounced back from the little portion of those who left because a lot of people will decide to leave uh, at a soul level because they are physical bodies do not correspond to the spiraling new energy they has different pattern of vibration if you don't if you cannot fit in you're out of the mind game. Little red balls you remove. You create like a suction device you're holding in your hand. What are the red balls? What are those? It's in the mental emotional body. It's the, um, some sort of parasitic forms. The red little bubbles. Ah. Uh, it looks like they're the red little bubbles. They're spreading all around. All around. It's just the, um, the keys to know about them and refuse them because otherwise I'll get stuck. They're like pieces of... I can re con connect like analogy would be a slime like the slime kids use they're very sticky and from inside comes a little red spider but that's why they're red color uh, and then what it does attach itself to an energy body of a human who is an earth yeah, I spread more of those. Huh. Though those four left, like they literally walked away quickly.
They rec I understand who this boy is. This boy was your son. They they ch they recruited him despite the resistance of the soul. <sighs> Something at a physical level that let them do it to to him. Conscious level. But you shoot like sparks all over. Each spark contains all the information. And... Xana? Mm. Can I... Uh, I'm really sorry, but I can't hear. Uh, can I call you back? Let, let me turn off the recording.